Hey, it's me, Dr. Daniel from drdaniel.com, and I wanted to talk to you just a bit about two nutritional markers that rarely get any kind of attention, at least in the conventional med uh, medicine sense, right? So these are two nutrients that um, will normally never show up on a routine blood exam. And these two nutrients include copper and zinc. And this is really important to understand because the ratio of your copper to zinc levels inside of your body have been clinically shown to be related to all sorts of conditions, including immunological disorders, so suppressed immune system, um, advanced aging, so if we talk about things like uh, graying, wrinkles, brittle nails, falling out hair, things like that, uh, definitely associated with copper to zinc ratio. Another thing that's important is fatigue and energy balance. So a lot of times when people are experiencing fatigue or low energy or crashes in the afternoon, that's something that could be uh, related to your copper or zinc ratio. Uh, so when you start to see hormone imbalances, uh, thyroid issues, gut uh, health, right? Gut disturbances, digestive issues, sleep disturbance is even associated with copper to zinc ratio. So again, this is, these are two markers that are very important to, under, to understand, very important to actually get measured. And unfortunately, most of the time when a patient comes to me, they've never had this looked at. And I can tell you that, that quite often I diagnose people with deficiency of zinc. And usually that's the big problem is that you don't have enough zinc to balance out the amount of copper that you, you have in your body. Uh, if you were to take the biomarker copper, your number, and you divided that by the amount of zinc, you would get a ratio. And that, that ratio should be 0.7 to 1.0. And it's been established that that's a healthy range. And if you're outside of there, then it can indicate that uh, you've got some imbalances in your nutrients, right? And so first we'd of course start with food and say, hey, maybe you should focus on, on certain foods more than others in order to balance that out. Um, and of course, if you have a flat out deficiency uh, of zinc, right? Like you don't have enough, well then it's enough to where I'd recommend that you take it. Um, although I wouldn't have you take zinc if you have normal levels. And to be quite honest, there's a lot of people out there that, that are told to take zinc and they don't even know what their levels are. And so that's, that's pretty dang dangerous. And so you gotta be careful with that. Anyway, I hope um, this makes sense. I hope you understand that measuring that is very important. And if you've never had that test done, then that's something that you should think about getting checked. All right, I'm Dr. Daniel. Again, I hope you found this information useful and we'll see you at the next video.